On April 25, 2024, the Turkish Navy's Istanbul Naval Shipyard opened its gates to inform the press about the latest developments in various naval projects. The most intriguing one is, undoubtedly, the future aircraft carrier. In February 2024, during President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's visit to the design project office at the Istanbul Naval Shipyard, the Turkish Navy's indigenous aircraft carrier development and construction project was unveiled for the first time. Previously, there had been confusion within defense media circles, as this project had been mistakenly associated with the second LHD project. However, it became evident after this visit that it was indeed a separate aircraft carrier development project. 24th, 2024, the commander of Istanbul Naval Shipyard hosted the journalists, presenting them with the latest updates on significant naval projects. The media tour primarily centered around the future aircraft carrier project. Officials took the opportunity to disclose additional details regarding the carrier's specifications during the media briefing. According to statements made to journalists by the Design Project Office, the aircraft carrier will not receive any support from a foreign country in its design and construction. Instead, it will be built entirely domestically, showcasing Turkey's self-reliance in this significant naval project. The aircraft carrier is set to include three runways with two designated for takeoff and one for landing purposes. Initially, there will be no catapult system on board. Instead, the design project office intends to utilize a modular ramp. However, the long-term plan involves the development of an indigenous catapult system by Turkish engineers, which will eventually replace the modular ramp. The initial plan outlines the deployment of 50 aircraft, with 20 to be stationed on the deck and 30 housed in the hangar. Among these aircraft are the naval version of Thai's Herjet light attack aircraft, Thai Anka 3 unmanned jet fighter, Baykar's Bayraktar Kizilelma unmanned jet fighter, and TB3 UCAV. According to Defense Turkey, Turkish defense officials have indicated that the number of aircraft may be increased as the project progresses. DPO is in touch with Thai and Baykar for the project. The carrier will be armed with a 32-cell midless VLS, vertical launching system, and four Gokdini's close-in weapon systems for self-defense. The carrier's technical specifications were unveiled in February 2024, with no changes noted. It will maintain a length of 285 meters and a displacement of 60,000 tons. Additionally, the carrier will be equipped with combined gas turbine and gas turbine COGAG propulsion, ensuring a maximum speed of 25 knots. The DPO plans to mount four LM2500 gas turbines as the main propulsion system. The participants also learned that a naval version of the KN fighter jet is on the table, but we still need more information to confirm this rumor. Join Intel Prime Channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including Early access to new videos Exclusive discounts on Intel products Behind-the-scenes content Live chat with me and other members Other options will be soon available Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow